Hi, Lee Leachman here from Wellington, Colorado with another session of our No Better Bull. Today, it's uh, in most parts of the country, it's breeding season, so let's talk about fertility. Fertility, as, as most ranchers know, is one of the very most economically important traits on the ranch. Obviously, bigger calves sell for more money, but more calves sell for a lot more money. And so getting a high percent calf crop is a primary driver for profitability on a ranching operation. So how do you improve fertility from a genetic standpoint? We all know that you can manage the cows better and, and do different things from a nutritional standpoint, from a herd health standpoint, but what about genetically? Can we select genetics that improve fertility? Well, the first thing to consider is that fertility is a lowly heritable trait. In other words, it's hard to change through genetic selection. Um, that there, but it still is heritable, so it still is possible. And we think that the heritability of fertility is down around 10%. So by using EPDs like first calf or, or heifer pregnancy, stayability, and some of those EPDs, you can, in, in fact, increase the fertility of the cow herd. Um, the limitations, of course, to that is it's going to be slow change. The other way that, of course, you can change fertility is to implement a crossbreeding program. We know that crossbred cows breed up at a higher percentage, they have better rebreeding rates, and, and that will significantly increase your fertility. So if, if you're in a situation where you're struggling on your ranch to get the effective level of fertility, I'm going to tell you crossbreed first to fix the big things, to make the big change. If you're just trying to tweak it, then let's look at trying to get the cow size and milk level right for your herd and select bulls that have high fertility EPDs like stayability and heifer pregnancy. That's Lee Leachman reporting for No Better Bull.